Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we're going to start off here with a Sacred Destiny Oracle card. You have the card of pleasure. I always love this card. It reminds me of a like a, a picture or a screen out of a movie or it's, it's like a fairy tale to me. The card of pleasure. So we'll see what the tarot has to say here. Maybe there will be some three of cups or other cards that indicate happiness, joy, and pleasure. Okay, you have here the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the High Priestess, the Six of Cups, the Star, the Page of Cups, better times ahead, guys, and the Knight of Swords. Now, you have three knights here. Knights come in to get the job done. So when you have three of them, no, they always have good intentions. Okay, and these guys like to get things done. Now, they're an interesting energy together because the Knight of Swords doesn't have any patience. It's moving forward with like, we are getting to the bottom of this and we're doing it now. Whereas the Knight of Pentacles says, I'm going to analyze this. I'm going to look at this for the long haul. I'm going to make sure all the numbers make sense. I'm going to make sure that we don't have to go back and revisit this later because I like to get it done right the first time. And then you have the Knight of Wands who hates to be bored. Okay, so that Knight of Wands says, give me something to do. Give me a project. Give me something I can work on and focus on. And so I feel like this may be more money related. You do have nice aspects for love too, which that also might be your soft place to land if you're dealing with this kind of energy because it is kind of a, in some ways, they're paradoxical. I wouldn't quite go as far as to say they're polarizing energies because they will work together. And it also, too, may, might be the best of both worlds. Okay, if you have a situation that requires attention to detail, but you don't want to wait around forever for it to get done, or maybe you're on a time frame and you say, you know, we're traveling, I need my passport yesterday, that sort of thing. Here's where things get taken care of. So I feel like if you are in a bit of a conundrum, with money, I feel like you're going to move forward here. Now, there may be a solution that you just haven't picked up on yet. You just haven't seen yet. And it, which is why we often come to the tarot, don't we? We come to get solutions to answers. We want answers. So I feel like you may have something that shows up here that will be a solution perhaps you hadn't thought of. Now, this Knight of Wands that comes in here is all about moving forward. He hates to sit still. So I do feel like if things have been a bit stagnant with the Two of Swords, things are going to get resolved. He can be a bit more concerned about speed and getting it done than like the details, but that's where I feel like the Knight of Pentacles energy will help with this. Now, in a relationship, you have somebody who comes in. There is real love here, by the way. But there's also charm and charisma when you bring in that Knight of Wands. It's a very flirtatious energy. It's someone who's going to be very direct, which I also get too with these Knights. This is going to be very clear communication, whether it's a relationship or in terms of money. There's nothing confusing here. Knights are, like I said, they're here to get everything taken care of. And so there's not, there's not really any room to be confusing or misleading. So with this Knight of Pentacles, Again, this is a very dependable energy, very trustworthy. In terms of a partner, it's somebody who really looks at the long term. Now, if you're with a partner, if perhaps they're more the one that's focused on money, like they're the money manager in the relationship, I feel like they're in this reading. And so if there's been something you're trying to come to terms with with them, you're trying to reach some sort of an agreement that pleases you both, I feel like you're going to find a resolution, all right? Now, if it's not a relationship money issue and it's you trying to figure something out, I feel like you have a Knight of Pentacles coming in because this Knight of Pentacles is your guardian angel of finance. So this will not let you overextend yourself. So you won't be going, I need to get rid of this car in six months. It's too much. Okay, this is where they'll say, no, this is this makes a lot of sense for you financially and be able to show you the numbers. 
Now, with this Knight of Pentacles, too, that yellow in the background indicates a warm environment, an environment where you're going to grow and flourish. So if it's a housing situation, too, I feel like you may stumble across something that's even new. There may be an upcoming place that you hadn't thought of because it's just not a well-known area or if it's some type of a, a complex, a well-known place, like I said. So with this Two of Swords here, with these cockeyed swords, are the, the ones we don't love seeing because they do show an impasse. And so with the Two of Swords, like we were talking about, there may be a solution that you just haven't seen yet. Now, in terms of relationships, I feel like with the, the energy of the High Priestess, if it's somebody around you who's not seeing a situation, I feel like they have information coming in. So if it's your significant other or it's someone who's close to you that is using you quite a bit for support and they have not they're not willing to see something in the way that it needs to be seen that high priestess will introduce a good dose of reality which will help a lot now in terms of love though too i feel like there could be somebody right under your nose you have here aquarius you've got all the elements represented um, but I do feel like with this two of swords energy, if it feels like, look, I'm, I'm not, people keep telling you you're being too picky. I don't agree with that at all. I feel like it really is about being selective. Why lower your standards? You won't be happy with that. You know, so I feel like that's not the answer. The answer is perhaps going to a new place, looking in a new way, maybe allowing yourself to dabble out in some other areas of meeting new people that you haven't done yet, especially if you have an overarching feeling of wanting to visit a particular place and you just haven't done it yet. I feel like going out there, getting yourself out there, there's a reason why you have a recurring sense of urgency. So follow your intuition because the high priestess prima materia matter comes from the mind. This is all about creating, but it also puts you in flow, in that beautiful flow state. And so like we were talking about, this is where you have information that comes out, but it's also hidden power. She sits on that cube that represents your soul, and she's not bothered. She is not bothered by evaluating. She can judge a tr the truth from a lie in seconds. And so I feel like you're going to be quite sharp, okay, in a very positive way. Like you're really going to see things and know immediately, yes, no. It's like you can immediately size up a person, place, or situation and with a yes or a no. And so if you're judging something, if you're in some kind of a, a competition where you're one of the judges, good for you. You're going to be quite shrewd. I don't know if I ever told you this, but years ago, my cousins who drink quite heavily, where my one cousin was judging a chili contest and her husband was sitting up on the judge's table and didn't realize the whole time he was a judge. I think he had just a couple too many. And so anyway, that always makes me laugh when I think about judging. But that won't be you, okay? You'll be the one that knows why they're there and what they're doing. So with the um, energy of the Six of Cups, this is where the reading really gets nice, by the way. This is where this watery energy, because you see how much water is in the cards? That's good. You Scorpio likes that. That's going to help you be in flow and feel comfortable. The energy of the Six of Cups, that, that background, when you see a village like that, it indicates abundance, many options, opportunities. But you also have helpful people showing up here with both the Page of Cups, I would say all three really, with the Star, and of course that Six of Cups. Their cups are filled with flowers. Those white flowers represent purity. And so what they're really trying to tell you is their motives are pure. This is There's no tomfoolery here. There's no trickery or deceit. I don't see it anywhere in the cards. And so talk about pleasure. Remember that? Anything new that you do too, I feel like people will really want to convince you. Like if you go to a new place, they're going to want you back. And they're going to, I feel like, roll out the red carpet to get you to feel comfortable. It doesn't feel manipulative though. It really feels genuine. Like they want to make a good impression on you. And so with the Six of Cups, I heard kindred spirits. I feel like you might have a new friend coming in here that you're going to immediately feel comfortable with and feel like you can just, it's this is reciprocity where you can give and take easily, freely. If you start a new job, I feel like somebody wants to share food with you, okay, where they might offer you something. Like I always get this takeout. Do you want a bite? That kind of thing where you go, God, these people are nice. So I just feel like the people around you are really going to show their best colors, and that is who they are, okay? We always talk about true colors, and I mean this, their very best, and that's, like I said, 
what they embody. So I feel like it's going to be refreshing for you. So with the Six of Cups in terms of a relationship, though, I do feel like you have somebody here who is going to dote on you a bit. And that might be the refreshing part of it, too, if you're used to being the one who just seems to do a little more in the relationships. Wouldn't that be nice to have the tables turned? And you're no longer the one who just does a little bit more. You're on the receiving end now. And so with the star energy, no, this is having an unwavering faith. It's better times ahead, wish fulfillment, but it's wonderful companionship too. And it's easy. It's like the contacts are easy. There's no questioning. How come I haven't heard from them in days? What's the deal? Do they only text every three to four days? No, this doesn't leave you guessing. It leaves you in flow. It leaves you feeling good. This is also a card of self-care. So I feel like when we talk about this, and when we talked about perhaps other people encouraging you to dismiss your, uh, you know, what you want in life, to dismiss that, no, that's not self-care. Saying I should settle, absolutely not. And so I feel like they're saying stick to it. You know, it's okay to have high standards because it matches you. And when we have an imbalance in, imbalance in a situation, it makes us get out of alignment. So this energy is, is in alignment. And with the Page of Cups here, you have a new offer opportunity, Law of Attraction energy. It can be an ex coming back or somebody who you know, but this is fun and chipper energy. This is not, I'm hiding from the person. This is like, oh my God, we haven't seen each other in so long. This is missing each other, longing for each other. Now with a new person, I feel like, especially with the Six of Cups, it's going to be familiar right away. So we've dabbled with this Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, he will get to the bottom. So you may have somebody who helps you and says, this is ridiculous how long you've been waiting. That's not right. And I feel like too, if you get on the phone or have somebody in person who is doing customer service and you know right away they're not going to be able to help you, I feel like they're telling you to keep it moving. Don't stay with somebody that you know you can tell, and you know what I mean, when you can tell and you go, I knew this wasn't going to work. I feel like they're saying, make sure you, you know, that you seek out somebody new if that's the case. <clears throat> All right, you have here, ask your angels because they're interacting with you even through the, the cards, through this reading. You have compromised the scales of Libra and balance, and you have romance. I'm telling you, somebody's going to do a little more for you for a change. Perfect timing. And you've got there something better. So I feel like they keep staying with that. You're worth it to have the best. Good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.